most amazing person I've ever met. What are you doing? I'm showing up for the rest of my life. A million little things. New next on ABC. All right, so after a nice day outside and a shower to follow, after all the fun and excitement for ABC Night Wednesday night, that concludes the penultimate episode. And I got to sneeze, but it's not coming out. That concludes the penultimate episode of A Million Little Things, which marks the Jeremy Mayfield installment. And boy, that ending, though, all the happiness that we've been getting here recently was falling apart. I mean, Adam, I mean, no, Adam, that's the actor. I, I gotta work on not mixing up the actor with the character. Tyrell, unfortunately, won't be going to college. And the first thing I'll share, I thought he and Valley did the ding of a jig and, you know, getting it on like Terry Labonte, which is why Adam didn't go, to, um, Jesus Christ, Tyrell is rather, didn't go to the mixer. And I thought he was covering that up. And, you know, when he ran away, he didn't want to tell him, Regina. And then, luckily, Valley came came in the clutch for him as the girlfriend she he, she is to him now. And told him he decided not to go to college. And then when we had Rome, he was doing a good job helping Maddox with the you know with this story and everything. And I can't believe his dad was his childhood bully. And here I am thinking one, it, we're going to see Adam Reynolds from you know the episode from last year where he told Theo you know, that story about how that. And I thought it was that he was talking about the same school we're seeing now in that episode last year, if you recall. That was, you know, that clip is in Tristan Bayan's birthday tribute from last year. If you want to check that out, like Kevin LePage, link the, I'll link last year's Tristan Bayan birthday tribute for his Ryan Newman 12th birthday in the description. When he was telling the the, you know, the story about Adam Reynolds, how they got into a fight, and you know, he didn't get arrested, but yet he was about to. But then his dad came and stuck up for him, and the cop didn't like him, yelled at him. So he let Rome go, but arrested his dad and his mom, who sadly is no longer with us in this universe. Um, bad Bill Bale and all, if you remember that. That's what I thought we were going to see tonight. But no, Maddox's dad, Clark, was the bully for Rome, other bully for Rome. So it was not it was not Adam Reynolds, it was the other bully. And little did I know, when in the, in the, in the episode description, when he said Rome faces off his, faces his childhood bully, I thought we were going to see them fight, honestly. You know, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, settle their difference, settle their differences from the past with some booty barker action from the Price is Right. I, I tagged DJ in the at tweet of me saying that, you know, DJ and Astro's creator. I bet you he looks at that shit as like, how, where the fuck, the fuck does my super fan, Mark Oliveris, come up with this shit about booty barker and, and, you know, having the price, from the Price is Right, how he has this action or some shit. I don't think he thinks of it like that, but that's probably how he fucking means it by saying it in a different way, but. Wow, and then he was helping him, you know, talk to the parents, you know. I'm surprised Clark apologized to him for treating him the way he did. And then my my boy Dre came back, you know, first appearance in a long time, but not the way I wanted. He wanted to terminate Rome because, you know, there was a Maddox problem. But as we see in the season finale, the Tony Stewart installment next week in the sneak peek, Rome just, just decided it's going to quit out of guilt. I don't know how that's going to happen, but we'll see. And then, of course, you know... The Sophie, um, what was the girl? Kai, Kai story. So, I'm glad Kai was able to open up. Kudos to you, Liana Liberato. You're doing an amazing job as Kai. Probably my newest favorite storyline of the newer storylines and the newer characters. And this whole time, I thought maybe we were going to see, you know, a, su a surprise plot twist of who may have shot and killed, maybe killed Peter in a way. I thought it was either going to be, A, you know, Danny, you know, roaming the streets and making a surprise appearance where, you know, he's the one that shoots him to stick up for his sister. Or Delilah makes the trip home from France, you know, sticks up for doing the same thing as a mother sticking up for a daughter and shoots him. But no, it was Anna. So that might have been the killer. Where is she the killer? And if she is, whether is she, if the big if, how did she kill him? Was the gunshot? I don't fucking know, but guess we'll find out next week. And DJ Nash said it's going to be the craziest cliffhanger of and show's history for season finale. It's crazier than Gary kicking Peter shit in like Ricky Rudd last year that I, we didn't even get to see because we didn't get to finish the television season properly. And the year before, you know, when Eddie got hit by the car. So I wonder what crazier shit than that DJ Nash is going to have up our sleeve, you know. But Leah and the Liberato did an amazing job portraying that story. I hope we see her back next week. 
of the season finale to still continue to see what happens with her next, you know, how we find out who Peter's, you know, killer is, you know, who is the, who is the person that was the cause of his death, you know. I'm, she didn't believe Sophie's story at first, but listening to it carefully and over and over, I'm glad she finally realized and got caught and came to her senses that Sophie was indeed right when she posted that podcast to Peter's memorial. But and now, now the the whole Catherine, um, Shanice, um, Greta drama. This gives me PTSD flashback. This is just the season four equivalent of the Eddie Cat Eddie Delilah Catherine drama from seasons one and two, if you ask me. You know, considering you know. Greta, I, I knew Greta was going to find out. I thought she was going to find out in um the Bobby Labonte installment, but shockingly she didn't. She found out. I mean tonight, and you know, you know, Captain tried to like you know tell her the truth, and I thought we were actually going to see Captain and Shanice in Miami. I know I got to see Carter back. I thought we were going to see Car have Carter. You know, you know, I was I. What am I trying to say? Jesus. Oh. I mean, it was nice of Carter to try to help her, Catherine, get, give her some advice. I thought we were going to see Catherine and Shanice in Miami, but then told the, the Uber driver to stop at the tattoo shop because she was looking for Greta to apologize. And then she went, you know, Mitra was honest uh, honest with Catherine, telling her where Greta was at the animal hospital because her pet died. And so when she goes to show her condolences to that pet, here comes Greta, you know, Greta's, you know, wife that, wife that she kind of ditched for Catherine. Um, Julia and they were hugging it out and so man, I I thought Catherine was going to tell Theo the truth tonight in that closing scene in the bedroom and I also happy Ty Dillon 13th birthday Tristan Bayan we recorded your birthday tribute um yesterday and uploaded it today so I hope you real I hope you see it you know I I tagged your sister in like the the, sne the 10 set minute preview on my Mark Oliverson and YT page on TikTok so and once the tagging glitch steers clear again I will post it to Instagram and tag notable people close associated with Tristan Byam from the show and as well as the sister Kaylee. But I'm pretty sure Captain will tell him the truth next week for the Tony Stewart installment to wrap it all up. I mean, and then, what was else? Oh yeah, the Maggie Gary on Patricia story. So was James Rode Rodriguez actually sick when this episode was filmed? Because if he wasn't, he did a damn good job faking the food poisoning. You know, I I never had food poisoning before, and I do not fucking want to experience it. I know it wouldn't be fun, no matter how it feels or whatever, where, you know, what it feels like and shit. You know, because Gary tried to tough it out, see if she can, he could take Maggie to, to her little appointment. But she had no choice but to have her mom take her, because her mom was going to originally babysit Colin, or, you know, Gary's dog. And so Gary had to stay back and get some rest and, you know, heal up with some fluids and shit and medicine and shit. But, you know, we ended up getting good news. 11 eggs for Brett Bodine and not that jackass who drives it now in the FedEx Toyota. Like, fuck that guy. Uh, so, you know, we're going to find out if Maggie is, whether or not Ma Pre Maggie is pregnant by next week. So, I mean, what else is there to uncover? It's like, oh my God. Oh yeah, you know, before we all got the shocking tr possible truth about Anna... It is was so cool. To, it's always so cool to every week to see her and Eddie living it up, living it up like Haley or Antia, Even though that's a Goldberg reference in a million little things video, but and you know how you know that you know the 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 not the counselor, but um, oh, what's it called? Um, not the specialist. Um, not the specialist. Uh. The guy at the front desk. Let's just say the guy at the front desk. Um, I don't remember. I don't know the fucking term. But anyway, so the guy at the front desk said it was completely booked. So Anna decided to fake a, a fake um person in a British accent and ended up working. If it was War Button's accent like that, that would have been fucking funnier. <laughs> like, wow, that I can't believe that all worked out. And you know, um. You know, packing up for the Sophie up and I'm packing up for that road trip and Eddie telling her not to force Kai to tell the story if she doesn't want to and just let her come to you if she wants to tell it to you herself, you know, makes that choice. And turned out she did. 
and kind of, you know, and kind of Sophie kind of forced it too by tracking her down. But if so, and I, I tried to be trying to try that in real life. That would be a cry, like a felony for stalking. So good thing it's just a television show, even if it means the show 100% authenticity. So yeah, there's really much all to uncover in this episode. So tomorrow, I mean, we got um. Oh yeah, what was it? Did we see? I think we got the Bobby. Lo Do we have this? Uh, what is it? This. Okay, okay, I got. I can't remember. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm doing the math right. We got the Bobby Labonte and Michael Waltrip installment of Danger Force and Side Hustle tomorrow, and after that, the Bill Elliott installment of Welcome to Flat. So it's gonna be a busy Thursday night, like always, with the with the Thursday night triple header. And did you hear the news? Ultra Violet and Black Scorpion and Villains of Valley View come in June 3rd. And then the week after that, it'll be Bunk Season 6. So it's going to be Friday Night Triple Header, Bunked at 7.30. A Villains of Valley View at 8 o'clock. And then, of course, Ultra Violet and Black Scorpion at 9 o'clock. So it's going to be Friday Night Bangers every week, it seemed like. So if you see me running the house early on Friday and most of the time not record any YouTube videos and just barely maybe... Be lucky to record either one, at least one or two TikToks. Um, you'll know why, because I will be busy binge watching those shows every Friday night. Even though I want to try to spend more time outside, I also still want to, even if it gets tiresome, I still want to try to watch these shows, even when it's, I want to be outside in nice weather, because you know we have three full months of summer to you know to do all we want, and you know. Outside time will be there for us, just like, you know, when we go outside, TV time and races will be there when we all be there for us when we need them. So, therefore, the TV, there's going to be three shows that's going to need us every Friday night, maybe two to start off on the Darth June. And June 10th that, and, on, and beyond, it's free game and triple headers, you know. I will be making a video on that on Tuesday. And on Monday, I'll be making a video sharing my final thoughts and thank yous and goodbyes and till we meet again to Promised Land, you know, to the cast and crew and showing my love on Monday after, you know, my family business is done. So then I also to top off this video, there will be nothing uploaded this weekend. After tomorrow, I'll be taking the whole weekend off from YouTube. I don't have, I'm not gonna upload Friday. I'll be with my dad, and we'll be at a po like a, a poker game. Even if, even if I even if we we are just going for a regular getaway with him, it's it would just be too early in the season for Texas hold on me. There's plenty of time for that this summer. And then Saturday, I have nothing interesting going on at his crib, so we're just gonna probably gonna chill all 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 day at night. It's probably gonna rain all week. Well, it's gonna rain Saturday and Sunday. Not that it matters because Sunday we'll be inside all day because we have my sister's baby shower. If we get, if there's any pictures on, we, we take, you'll see them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if there's any TikToks, you'll see it in there. And then, and then also we'll also post them to Instagram, no, Facebook, and Twitter, but no YouTube videos, none. But I don't know if I'll be able to do TikToks with at the baby shower. If I am, I'll consider myself lucky, but. I'll figure it out, and then Monday, the Promised Land video, and then Tuesday, the Bunked video, and Wednesday, we just start, we officially start finishing the 2021-2022 television season for the summer, so have a good night tonight, and a better day tomorrow, life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it, it ain't for the week, goddamn, be you, you have to try harder to do less, you can't deport a dream, sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things, take care everyone, good night, and... To the millionaires out there, and I, I look forward to wrapping this up with the Tony Stewart installment next week. Everybody else out there, see you tomorrow night for the Bobby Levante and Michael Waltrip installments of Danger Force and Side Hustle, and the Bill Elliott installment of Welcome to Flash. See you later, everyone. Love each other. That's my boy.